Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. As you guys already saw by the title, today is a Halloween two-tier tray video and i'm so excited because if you guys aren't new to my channel you guys already know that in these videos i show you guys how to decorate my two-tier tray in three different styles usually it's three different styles or three different color palettes or just three different ways in general. I do this to give you guys some more ideas. So maybe one of them is something that you guys like or a style you guys like or something that you guys might want to recreate. I just like giving you guys options, but I'm really excited about today's video because as I shared in my last video, which was a Halloween haul that I will link up here, I shared that I didn't want my decor to feel too like cartoonish or childish. And I got some comments from you guys saying the same thing or saying that you guys don't really decorate for Halloween. So I just wanted to show you guys that you can incorporate some spookiness into your decor without making it seem childish and just a little bit spooky for the season. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, definitely stick around for this video. I hope you guys like one of them. If you guys do, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys can share my video, I would super appreciate it. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I have an exciting collab coming on Tuesday and then a decorate with me for Halloween coming up on next Friday. So definitely hit that notification bell. And enough rambling, let's go ahead and get into the video. Make sure to let me know down below which tray was your favorite. Okay, so getting started with this first tray, which I wanted to stick to a like black and white theme as well as a raven theme. So here I am putting a kitchen towel. I had already told you guys that this is a trick I do. It just helps ground the decor you put over top of it and it adds a lot of texture to your tray. On the top tier, I did place two candlesticks as well as a glass bottle that just says raven's feathers and a raven in front of it. And on the bottom tray, I placed a Ray Dunn mug with the black side facing the front of the tray, as well as a little wooden round with a skeleton head and a plastic dome over it, and then just some pumpkins. So I really like this like twig pumpkin because it's just so spooky to me. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love it. And then I placed some feathers and some candles on the candlestick and in the little glass vase and then this cinnamon broom to tie in the twig pumpkin on the bottom. And lastly, I am adding my greenery. You guys know that I cannot miss this step in my trays. However, for Halloween, I decided to go with the spooky black twigs. It's not actually green, but it definitely does serve the purpose that greenery would on any type of tray. So here I am just putting it underneath the pumpkin. It adds the perfect amount of spookiness to the tray. And then I also added this Spanish moss in some of the like empty spaces I had so underneath the raven as well and the other crevices that I felt needed an extra something but that was basically it for my greenery and for this tray. Okay, so now moving on to the second tray, I have to say I think this one was my favorite. I used all of the colors that I have going on in my house currently. I just added a little bit of black to it. But as you guys saw, I laid down another kitchen towel. This one is a burnt orange color and then I added my amber candle holder as well as the black mug again and towards the back I just added a candle holder with a fake LED candle and another LED candle on the bottom and then this little gourd right here is a real gourd it's just in the really beautiful green color and in front of it the same twig 
pumpkin that I used previously. Again, I just feel like these pumpkins are perfect for Halloween. They add the perfect amount of spookiness. And then I added these little skeleton heads and behind them I did add this A1 sauce bottle. I just cleaned it up and I'm using it as a vase. And in it, I again, I just use some feathers. I feel like feathers are perfect for Halloween. It adds the perfect amount of like spookiness without it being like terribly childish if that makes sense and then this cute little skeleton hand i used it to prop a pumpkin on top of it and then i just used a few other pieces on the top tray and again a cinnamon broom i love these and they tie perfectly with that twig pumpkin at the bottom and then the last touch I added to the top of this tray is the skeleton head on top of the candlestick holder. I just love how these little skeleton heads look on this tray. And this time I am using greenery. I'm just using these green and red eucalyptus stems. You guys already saw me use these in my fall tier tray video. I will have it linked above in the i card. But I love this tray and I think the reason I love it is because it complements my current fall decor so well however it still has that little bit of spookiness and halloween to it and this is exactly what i wanted to accomplish with my halloween decor so i'm so excited that i was able to envision this tray and this is probably the one i will end up using for my halloween decor Okay, and moving on to the last tray, I went ahead and I tried to stick to a more neutral theme for this one. I would have to say it is definitely the most neutral out of the three of them, but I really did like how it came out. I started by adding a kitchen towel once again, the same black mug I have been using, and then towards the back I just added the three LED candles I have in different sizes just to fill up some of that empty space towards the back. And then I added this cornstalk pumpkin and the same A1 sauce vase that I came up with with some feathers inside of it. I then went ahead and added this vintage rolling pin and vintage spoon. I love the element of wood that they bring into this tray again just trying to stay with a more spooky theme more than anything and some more of these black twigs for my bit of greenery that i am trying to incorporate into the tray and over top here i am using that same twig pumpkin and a cute little velvet pumpkin in the front just keeping things very neutral and i really like how this came out with all the like creamy colors and on the top i just added this enchantment spell book that i got from target's dollar spot and in front of it again i used the same cinnamon broom i had been using and then i added this cute little owl which i feel made the tray perfect and some more pumpkins but that little owl you guys just gets me i absolutely love how he looks up there and then just some more twigs for that touch of greenery and lastly, for an extra touch of Halloween, I decided to grab some of these Dollar Tree spiders I had from last year and I just randomly placed them around the tray. I felt like this was so cute and I don't know, I just think it added, again, another touch of Halloween without being too much and it's so simple and a cute touch to add to any decor you can even add it to just a pumpkin you have laying around your house right now and that would instantly make it halloween or spooky in my opinion and then finally finishing off by adding some spanish moss to the empty spaces and that was it for this one
All right, and that is everything for this video. Let me know down below which tray was your favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Cass, I'm 23 years old, and I do a lot of these type of videos, decor hauls, homemaking videos, cleaning here and there. So definitely hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family and to everyone coming back. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys next week in my Tuesday upload and my Friday upload. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and until next week.